Hey guys, welcome back to yet another RMD Tech video. In a desperate attempt to try and keep up the weekly upload schedule we've been going for for the last month or so, I've had to resort to a moving vlog. I've been moving house this week and everything's been absolutely chaotic. So you're gonna have to join me whilst I show you around my office, show you some of the cool tricks and help me turn this small space into a cool little recording studio. And I'll also show you my actual personal rig for the first time because I don't think I've actually ever talked about my personal rig on this channel. So I'll tell you the parts inside and what I use for testing. So the journey of moving all started out by measuring out my new office and getting a desk that goes wall to wall because I thought why not treat myself and get a fantastic little setup. So as you can see here, I'm going ahead and building some IKEA Alex drawers. I did only purchase one of them brand new from IKEA. The others actually came from Facebook Marketplace so I was able to pick them up slightly cheaper, saving me a decent whack of money. The tabletops on the other hand are all brand new. They're Ikea Lag Captain tabletops, probably butchered the pronunciation of that. However, they're Lag Captain, there's one 260 centimeter desk, and I think the other one's 140 centimeters, maybe it's 120 maybe. So all in all, it's a pretty sizable L-shaped desk with three IKEA Alex units, which all in all gives me quite a bit of storage space because I've got a lot of PC parts, lots of cables, and they all need somewhere to go. The only issue was that the desk didn't actually fit properly. Turns out I didn't measure the room correctly, the walls were actually slightly curved just because it's slightly old, and so I had to get a family member to help me saw the desk down just a couple of millimetres to make sure it fit. As you can see, it was very, very close. Now, I don't have any footage from that because it's family and look, I don't, they're doing me a favour. I don't want to be shoving a camera in their face. That's the last thing they need. They're doing me a favour, so I just appreciate that. But anyway. The desk was assembled, it all fit in once it had been sawn down, and I think it looks pretty good. So we are currently part way through setting ourselves up in the new office slash RMD tech set, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we'll, we'll hide this bit for a little bit just, just because that's a pretty cool section of the room that I, I quite like the look of. But anyway, this is going to be the biggest upgrade we've ever had in terms of set or office, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so how about I show you guys around? So let's have a look here. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around, that's probably easiest. So. There we go. In this corner over here, we have where my personal rig is going to go. So that goes there. It's got an R5 3600, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and an RX 6800, for which you can see the box there on my shelf. Uh, I think the box for the actual CPU is there, box for the graphics card there, and there's also a little die cast figure of my car that you can see. I've also got my headphone stand here on a weird glass head. I think that looks quite cool, but I feel a lot of people will probably disagree with that. You can also see I've got these uh, smart LED strip kit lights going on here. Now these aren't set up, it's still in the box, haven't opened it up yet. I've got three meters, probably should have gone with five meters to sort of stretch around the very edge of the desk here. But uh, three meters we'll have to do. Maybe we'll just sort of, we won't light up these edge bits, it'll be covered by the computer anyway. It won't be too bad. You also recognize this monitor here. It's not going to be the permanent monitor for this setup, but it is going to do for now. Um, this here is the monitor that I used back when I lived in Canterbury. So you'll probably recognize that from some of my older videos if you've been around for a while. Now, if you look underneath the desk, I've done a little bit of reinforcing. So we can see we've got some, we've got two galvanized steel metal bars going across there. That's just to give this IKEA tabletop a a little bit of extra breathing room because it's gonna it's gonna flex and bend quite a bit and uh, I'd rather not have a bendy desk and I'm sure you can understand exactly why I would not want that. So we also have here this little mystery box here which I'll cover up my old address which is written on there but this box here is indeed for an upcoming video. Uh, that is going to be a retro mystery box unboxing. So um, that's, that's going to be interesting. So keep, keep, st keep I was going to say keep subscribed, but stay subscribed, get subscribed if you want to see that video coming out shortly in the next couple of weeks. Underneath here is where I have a couple of my old desktops. So again, this is for an upcoming video. Great desktop PC, great story behind that. Also got a couple of older cases, got my old NZX DH440 at the back there. That's one of my favorites of all time. But moving around to the main attraction of the room is this wardrobe, which has 
the vast majority, but not all of my PC hardware collection. So as you can see in this corner down here, we've got sort of graphics cards. Um, we've also got a couple, we've got power supply there. We all, in this box here we have a um, we've got a PlayStation One in one of these two boxes, and something else in the other. I can't remember what it is. Maybe we'll get that out for another video. But up here we've got some motherboards. Correct. We've got quite a few motherboards, considering that I've paid for all of them. Up here we've got five AIOs, uh, probably five too many. A couple of bits of just random consumer tech here. Got a cheapo drone, cheapo headset. Got oh, this is for a video on a fake uh, Nintendo Switch from Wish. So that will be coming out at some point. Yeah, we got all sorts up here. So this is the state of the room at the moment, and. You know, I'm actually quite happy with things as they currently are. I think we're going to keep the layout more or less how it is. But um, how about I get everything finished up? Like I'll get my get my proper monitor in, get my PC in, get my chair in, and then I'll join you guys again and we can have a look at my PC. We can have a look at all this setup stuff. It's a bit of a strange video, not really my usual style, but I'm moving, so got lots going on and not really much time to film videos. So hopefully we'll get back to the normal sort of video style sooner rather than later. Okay then guys, so I finally have the office in a state where I'm happy with it. So how about I show you guys around? I'm sure there's gonna be a few more changes here and there, but for the most part, this is it. So I'm gonna show you around. Okay then, so this is the entryway where you will enter into the office. Wow. Okay, so as you can see over in this corner, this is just where I'm keeping my tripod for the camera for when I'm filming. And usually I'd have the mic on an arm attached to the desk. However, this setup doesn't really give me a good place to do it without taking up a ridiculous amount of desk space. I would sort of clamp it here, this would be the ideal place, but then I kind of lose access to all of this area over here. So I'm just gonna keep it on its own separate stands, freestanding, and I'll connect it up with the cables that you can see sort of tied up under this desk here. Cool, so. What else do we have? Well, we've got my big old light box there. It's a little bit droopy, I need to sort that out, but that will stay in the corner for lighting and that'll be sort of a permanent feature of the room, no matter how ugly it is. And then I've also got my teleprompter that is currently in the corner. I need to find a better place for it, but right now I'm not really sure where to keep it. Perhaps sort of somewhere down here if I find some space. And then, so let's get this bin out of the way. No one wants to see a bin. What you might be interested in is what I keep in my drawers. So in this top drawer, just a bunch of keyboards, because why not? Moving on down, we've got sort of cable management stuff and different screws, and that's all in that drawer. Moving down again, we've got absolutely bugger all. And this next drawer down is just a whole load of graphics cards, so that's, that's exciting stuff. I think the most powerful graphics card in here is a GTX 960, but other than that, these are all pretty old GPUs. Then down at the bottom is most of my camera gear. That's all in there, sort of, you know, different lights and small tripods and whatnot. There's all sorts of bits and gubbins in there. Now, this cabinet here is where I keep pretty much all my cables. And there's a ridiculous amount of cables. So here we've got USB cables. Next up, we've got just general internal PC cables. Then we've got cables which aren't PC cables and aren't USB cables, so they're like display cables, uh, TV cable, Ethernet cables, all sorts in there. Then we've just got plugs and different adapters, so they all go in there. And down the bottom is power cables, and I have quite a few of those, where it's quite dark on the camera you can't really see. 
Finally, in the last unit, what do we have here? Well, in the top, we've got CPUs and RAM. There's a back, basically just a bag of CPUs there. There's a tray of CPUs in there as well. I think there's, yeah, there's quite a few under there. And there's just RAM in there. Let's close that up. Next up, we just have my laptop. Then we've got hard drives and CDs and SSDs and things like that. Another empty drawer that will have something in it eventually. And lastly, down the bottom, oh, it's, it's full up. It's, it, there, we, there we go, we'll get that sorted. But these are basically all my different toolkits and different sort of screwdrivers and things like that. You know, I've got a power supply tester in there. All the important tools a techie must have. So then, the wardrobe itself, that hasn't changed much. That's still got all of the different bits in there, sort of motherboards, graphics cards. Things have moved around a bit. I've sort of put all my AIOs up there. It's not as organized as it was because there's just more stuff that needs to go in. This little crate down here, you can't see it very well. Uh, let me see if I can... There you go, that crate there, that contains all the things for upcoming videos. So if it's in that crate, expect the video to come soon. Moving right along, let's take a look at the PC itself. So here we have my gaming PC with a very reflective side panel. But as I mentioned earlier, it's got an RX 6800, a Ryzen 5 3600 and 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. And it's all being called by this uh, Deepcool AIO. It's a, two, it's a Deepcool Castle 240X, I believe. Don't quote me on that though. And this is my Xiaomi Mi 34 inch ultra wide gaming monitor, lovely monitor. Did a review of a very similar monitor last year. It uses the exact same panel, but this one has a few extra nice features. Sort of picture in picture mode, picture by picture mode, things like that. All very nice. Up on the shelf, what have we got? Well, we've got some boxes as I showed you earlier. I've also put a few graphics cards up there. This one, I like that one. I got that for five pounds in Wales. That was a good deal. And this is the infamous fake graphics card from Wish. So yeah. That is pretty much the office tour. There's really not very much to show you guys. It's a very, well, I say it's a very small room. It's about two and a half meters by two and a half meters. But this is the office. This is where I record my videos. The camera from now on is gonna go about here-ish. And this is where I'll, I'll sit in the chair. The camera will go here-ish when I'm shooting the videos and you'll see me sat here. So that's pretty much the setup going forwards. Hopefully for the next couple of years, um, but yeah, that is how things will stand for now. Sorry, this has been a bit of a weird video, not usually the normal format, but uh, I didn't have much time to make a normal video. Definitely didn't have time to script anything. So this is all you're gonna get for this week. So uh, stay tuned for next week where hopefully we'll have a return to more normal content and I will see you all then.